I, Kurosaki Naoki, am just your average 10th grader. There isn't anything that I am particularly good at, nor anything that I am bad at. I'm truly just your average student, but... Uh, making eye contact with Kurosaki first thing in the morning? Disgusting. For whatever reason, Akagami Hinako, a girl who has been in my class since freshman year, hates me for some reason. Kurosaki, is there any way you can stay out of my sight? I'm also hated by Shiratori Ai, who is my senpai who used to serve on the same committee as me in middle school and is now in the same library group as me. It's literally the worst running into you. Seriously, it feels like bad luck to run into you first thing in the morning. Lastly, I'm even disliked by my sister Mikoto and her friend at my kohai since middle school, Kinjo Himeka. Oh, wait, did I do something wrong? I am so hated by the people around me that it almost makes me want to ask out loud if I did something wrong. Of course, I have zero memory of doing anything that would make them dislike me. Regardless, this is how I am treated. Honestly, I really don't know why they are like this. Every day was sad, until one day... Hey, boy! I found you at a good time. Who are you? I was approached by a suspicious older woman. Who is she? Why does she sound kind of like a guy? I'll give you this. What? What is it? Popularity visualization glasses. <clears throat> oh god, what should I do? She seems like a bad person to get involved with. In any case, I should do something. Sorry, I I'm in a hurry, but I'll pass. Please, give it to somebody who would find it more useful. Wait a moment. Uh -huh. You must think I'm trying to fool you, so you should try it out. You really can see people's popularity through these glasses. E even so, what is the point? I want to gather data, that is all. No, no thank you! Uh, are you running away? There's no way I could take such a suspicious thing so seriously! I thought as I ran away. Don't think you can run away from me! <sighs> She's fast! I may look like this, but I've been training. I won't let you get away. Who is she? Because she's a woman and I'm a man, I figured I would be faster than her. But she inevitably caught up to me. God, just let me have some of your time. But why are you so concerned with me? Because though I work on behalf of a national agency, I had decided that you would be good at helping me gather data. Wait, was I being tracked? I was watching not just for you, but all the students at your school. From within that, I had decided you would be most suitable. So, you should consider it an honor. <sighs> should I go to the police? After having been pursued by this strange woman, I really did consider contacting the police. In any case, please try it out. These glasses use a special popularity visualization lens that was created by a genius scientist. The contact lenses required special technology that was irreproducible, but as glasses, it became usable. And, from the user perspective, it is not as scary as putting a contact lens in your eye, right? Well, I guess... Okay, great! Please try them out. I figured I should ask, but is there any way I can say no? If you have more confidence than me, you should do as you please. So, uh, you won't just let me get away, will you? In the end, I took the glasses home with me. For now, I had her write me a contract promising me that I wouldn't be billed for the glasses. So I think I will be fine. But why me? I couldn't understand why she had selected me. It would probably be more useful for a popular guy to use this for romantic reasons instead of me. Hey, I have something to talk to you about. Huh, Mikoto is surprisingly using a reasonable amount of force. Uh, come in! Tomorrow. Himeka is coming over, so could you please be gone? That would be great. Hmm? Glasses? Did your eyes get bad or something? Oh, these? These are non-prescription lenses. Hmm... What? Why don't you try them on? Hmm? Non-prescription lenses means you bought them for the fashion, right? 
Why don't you try them on? She's asking, but really, she's telling me to put them on. It's nice to have, but I feel like it won't really suit me, so I don't want to. What? That's such a waste. Well, I don't really care how you dress, but if you put them on, I'll tell you what I think about them. Hmm... If I keep saying no, it'll annoy her, so... Uh, uh, how is it? Well, I guess, just because it's fancy doesn't mean it looks good. But wait why are you trying to take a photo? Uh, I'm really not. You are making a big deal out of nothing. Uh, stop! Wait, what is this 100 number? I guess that lady said that popularity would appear as a number. I in other words, the feelings that Nikoto has towards me is a hundred? Hmm, I guess there really wasn't a way that glasses could truly show you someone's popularity. There's no way that Nikoto, who hates me, would have a hundred percent favorability rating. Hey, why did you take them off? I'm not done taking a picture! <sighs> hey, Nikoto. What? Do you, uh, like me? What? There's... no way I would like you! There's... just... no way I would like you! Wait a minute... Keep the weird statements for when you are sleep-talking or something. It just doesn't make sense why I would like you. This reaction... could it be? Uh, I'm going back to my room. Oh, she left. Maybe there is really something to these glasses. Because I had doubts, I decided to try it out again the next day. The next morning. Yeah, it's exactly as she described it. During school, I looked at people and while I could not see any of the guys' numbers, I could see my popularity with certain women I've never talked to was zero. These glasses only seemed to work with the opposite sex and showed a rating of zero with women that you've never talked to. I'm sure that this would change with love at first sight, but I'm not handsome so, of course, my rating is zero. When I reached the classroom, yeah, it's mostly between 30 to 50 percent. It uh, must be the average? In terms of percentage, up to 50 meant normal, and anything above 50 meant they had feelings for you. 51 to 60 percent is them getting to know you, and 61 to 80 percent meant they liked you. 81 to 99 percent meant they loved you. And if it was 100 percent, it meant they loved everything about you like a devotee. It's complicated, but it taught me that I should concern myself with mostly people about 51%. Hmm, I wonder. I had a faint feeling that it would be nice to find out someone likes me, but I guess this is more realistic. I suppose it's best for me to be grateful that I'm not disliked. If I was disliked, it would be a negative number, so uh, I should be glad. That strange woman had a negative 10 above her head. Maybe it was bad of me to waste her time a bit. Hey, Kurosaki. Hmm? Oh, uh, hi, Akagami. Is something the matter? Wait... A hundred? Why would Akagami be a hundred? What? Um, nothing. Is something up? I received the handout from the teacher about our next committee meeting, and I came to hand you one. Akagami works in the library with me, so I guess she came to give me a handout. Thank you, Akagami. I did it for your sake. It's just that as a committee member, I had to do it. Hmm? Her reaction is so strange. Though I had not known till now, the fact that she liked me certainly changed how I understood her behavior. This must be what a tsundere, hot, cold personality type is. Of course, it's nice to think about harems, but in reality, it's more like mayhem. If there is no girl who will treat me kindly, then I should just move forward by picking one girl. Oh god, why is it like this? For all four of them to be tsundere? Usually, in love video games, the girl types are more diverse. Not to mention, there's no way I can be with all four of them. That night, because of all the dissatisfaction up until now, I released some stress. The next day, after school... You had something you wanted to talk about? I asked Akagami to meet with me to talk. Mm, she hasn't really calmed down since we got onto the roof. It's like she's expecting something. Uh, thank you for coming. 
there's something important I wanted to talk about, so I asked you here. I yes something important. I have some free time, so I'll hear what you have to say. Uh, thank you. Well... Akagami, uh, please, go on a date with me. Huh? Uh, are you being serious? Yeah, I I'm serious. I had a crush on you in middle school. So, I, I would like to date you. I see. Well, wait. You had a crush on me in middle school? Why is it in the past tense? Well, because ever since we entered high school, you've been cold to me. But I realized that was just your tsundere tendency, so I started liking you again. Honestly, I can't really be excited about that. Or rather, I don't want to be excited about that. <laughs> it's not something you'll laugh about! And realized? You realized that I had a crush on you? Well, yeah, I realized yesterday. Ah! Uh, Akagami? God, that's so embarrassing! You're telling me that you knew I liked you while I was being salty towards you? That's just so embarrassing! Well, uh, at the time, I definitely had feelings about it. See? I knew it! But I'm really not that concerned about it. Uh, honestly, there's just one thing I want to ask you. Why were you always salty with me? Well, I do have to say why. If you hide it, it might make our feelings complicated. Well, uh... What? You mumbled something I couldn't hear. Could you say it again? Like I said, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Ever since I started liking you, it just became so embarrassing to see you. I wanted to talk to you, but I was too shy, and couldn't really talk well. And when I finally gathered the courage to talk to you, I don't know, it just came out cold is all. That... that's like a manga. It's the truth! <sighs> In any case, I understand. I say this because I understand, but I don't really understand. But if I keep dragging this out, we won't be able to move forward. So, uh, will you go on a date with me? I yes of course After all, we both have feelings for each other. Uh, great! I guess knowing that we have feelings for each other makes it difficult to be Tsundere. We should talk. When I told her everything that happened up till now, Akagami, uh, Hinako was surprised. And we decided not to hide that we were going out at school. When you put off problems, there is always this sneaking suspicion that everything can go bad at any given moment. And I started to feel that way. It's exactly as I expected. But why are you here? It's like I said, I wanted to gather data. So... So you are saying that you saw everything? Of course! Oh, you watched me at such an embarrassing time! What are you talking about? It was beautiful. You proved it. That, if a dumb, dim-witted man had to deal with tsundere and difficult women, as long as he was able to understand his popularity, he could successfully date one of them. A, a, a dumb and dim-witted man? A tsundere difficult woman? The country has a birth rate problem. And one of the reasons is the increased number of singles. These glasses were developed with a hypothesis that if one could see one's popularity, there might be more couples. And the experiment was a huge success, since you were able to couple despite your difficult positions. Then surely other people around the nation will be able to do the same thing. In any case, I gotta go home and finish the report. Oh, you probably don't need the glasses anymore, so I'll be taking it back. Oh, wow. She's faster than usual. Uh, who was that person? Uh, don't worry about it. I'm sure we won't see them again. I guess that's true. And nothing else matters. Hinako became much more sweet after this. I'm sure there are many people who like the Tsundere type, but I much prefer her as a sweet girl. She apologized for how she treated me previously, so clearly she is a good person. How can you date another person when you have me? Yeah, seriously! You even have me too! 
You have some nerve to betray me after all I've done to care for you since middle school. And just as I thought, once I started to date Hinako, I started getting hounded by the other three girls. That's why I said... The one I realized I liked was Hinako, and that's all there is to it. My true feelings. The three of them continued to hound me afterwards, but they brought this upon themselves for the way that they treated me. But then... Why don't you try dating all four of them? But how did you get in here? What are you even talking about? I just think if we are going to fix the birth rates, we might want to try the old way of one man and many wives. I mean, you'll be able to have kids at a much faster rate. How can you even say something like that? Not to mention, you're trespassing! I've got the school's permission. After I turned in the report yesterday, I figured out a new plan. So I want you to try dating all four girls. Then how can I? Hinako, let's run away! I yeah there's a way I could do something like that! Wait, don't run! You have to date them! Why did you involve me in this? Dating all four girls would be unmanageable, and I can definitely imagine being attacked for trying to do so. I want to treat Hinako well, so of course I could not entertain her insane proposal. While I ended up happily spending my days with Hinako, I also ended up always having to run away from the three other girls. Apparently, lots of other people tried out the glasses. But the second they saw their popularity, it sparked a lot of fights. So the glasses went back to the drawing board. Humans are not such simple creatures. <laughs>